Okay, in this example, it looks much um, scarier than it is, but basically we can use some integration techniques from earlier and combine it with some trig from last year, January, February. If you're given the h prime of x, the derivative of h, and a point on it, even though this looks messy, we're going to find h of x. You'll find out that it's cooked up to, to work out quite nicely. So first, we integrate 3 sine of 4x plus 4 sine of 3x. And the nice thing here is that in the formula booklet, you're given the derivative or the integral of sine is negative cos. And then if it was the chain rule, we would multiply by 4, but we are dividing by 4 because we're anti-differentiating. Then minus 4 cos 3x, because the integral from the formula booklet of sine is negative cos. Then this 3 has to get divided out, plus c equals h of x. Okay. Now we come to the part where we substitute pi over 12 in, and these are always cooked up to work nicely. It'll come to a special angle, and our output here is going to be messy and over here, but you will find out with a little bit of grade 5 fractions we can finish this off now. So, negative 3 quarters cosine of 4 times pi over 12. Are you comfortable if I just move that to pi over 3? Okay, let's save some space. Where's the eraser? Oh, whatever. Okay, so 4 times pi over 12. 4 over 12 is pi over 3. Okay. Minus 4 thirds cosine 3 times pi over 12 is pi over 4. And then that equals, sorry, plus C equals 3 over 8 minus 4 root 2 over 6, okay? At this case, what's the special angle cosine of pi over 3? Cos of pi over 3 is, is a half, okay? So now you have negative 3 quarters times a half minus 4 thirds. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. And then plus C equals 3 over 8 minus 4 root 2 over 6. And you'll see why this is all cooked up to work. Where? Uh, is it okay? Okay. So if you multiply this out, what do you end up with? Negative 3 over 8. So you take this, add it to the other side, to the 3 over 8, and what do you end up with? 6 over 8. No. 3 over 8 plus 3 over 8 is 6 over 8. Okay, this one over here, you have negative 4 root 2 over 6, negative 4 root 2 over 6. So what can we do with those two pieces? Those ones are going to disappear. So you get C is 3 quarters or 6 eighths. And we're done. So it's, it, it looked way messier, but if you remember trigonometry from last year, then you're okay. So therefore, um, ugh, am I going to fit this all on here? Let's try H of X equals, I'm probably not. Okay, here I'm going to just cheat. So this here is going to go and replace that C, 3 quarters. So your final answer that doesn't look very good. Your final answer is this.